Hey everybody, this is Miss Queen Mind coming at you again, and I want to talk to you today, once again, our favorite topic, qualities of a queen. And this is a good quality, I believe, that all queens should have, and that is a, the quality to hustle. Ladies, we, if you have a, a job and you're tired of working nine to five, girl, you better be trying to get you a hustle, right? Right. You have got to figure out something to do that's going to put you where you want to be because I guarantee you that nine to five ain't going to do it. Maybe you and some girls can get together and, you know, talk to your friends and you try to market or maybe try to go back to school and get you some more education. Something to put some money in your pocket is easier than you think you just have to know what your abilities are and the only way you're going to really get to know what your abilities are is you got to spend time with yourself and get to know yourself and we'll talk about things like that at another time but right now if you don't have any money coming in you're at home getting food stamps sell some dinner plates you should be the hardest dinner if you get money sell some dinner plates put together some food you and some girls get together and y'all do that. Y'all might, you you know, you'll be surprised. A bunch of beautiful women standing somewhere selling some dinners. Maybe the late night at the, after the club. Y'all out in the parking lot. You done set your little stuff up. And y'all go out there and, and, and just clean house. Both of you make the money. Whoever, you know, you put your money back in or whatever. And do that. That is an awesome hustle, especially if you can cook. Because you know people be hungry. You know, two for five hot dogs or something like that. Two for five hamburgers anything go out to the construction sites and do the same thing this will make you money ladies if you can cook but if not you know you can do other things you can um you can sell t-shirts you can you can sell if you know how to make things you can sell things that you know how to make if you don't have kids you like kids you can babysit if you're home all day call your home girls up that's why when i um that's like one of the best things that you can do if you and your um your 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 friends your homegirls or whatever they got kids off of the babysitting and ask the old girl to pay you a few little dollars or whatever especially if you trying to help her that'll help her out a little bit you know what i'm saying but you can't be messy and nasty to the kids and you got to have a plan if you're going to babysit you need to have a plan for the kids because they're going to need guidance you can't just leave them alone to do whatever they want to do because that's just not going to work but You've got to find a hustle. Moms, you got to hustle around the house. You got to get your family running on a schedule. Not You have to develop a program to make your house run. And that starts out with the kids, making sure that the kids are doing what you need them to do. As your children get older, they should be disciplined to keep their room clean. They should be disciplined to do their homework without you telling them. You should be disciplined enough to know that when they come home from school, they're going to be starving. I need to have them a snack. So then they can sit down and do their homework. After their homework, they need to clean up. If they need their rooms clean, they need to clean their rooms, get their school clothes out. Then they need to, um, after they get their school clothes out, then they can go outside for a little while. If it's still, you know, they can play till the lights come, the street lights come on or not. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to make sure that I have them some dinner ready by no later than 8 o'clock. Whatever they're eating is not going to have a lot of carbs in it because I'm going to cook something for them because it don't take long to make a meal. Uh, with all the hamburger helpers and different little things, there's plenty of different meals you can make and, and stuff that you could do for your kids other than just take out because we've got to get away from that. Um, once you put them in, and like I said, once we bring them in the house, it's time for you guys to come in. You guys got to take a shower. Everybody takes a shower. Um, or either we'll eat dinner first and then everybody will go have a bath or we'll have a bath and then we'll eat dinner and then you get a little bit of TV time and then or study time just depends and then it's time for you to go to bed so that's school nights and that's a routine for me on the regular that's that's what the kids are accustomed to and because of that my life is a little bit easier and I can sit down and talk to you guys and not have to worry about and I can exercise and do my thing and, and get myself together because the kids done washed, the school clothes are out, dinner's done, we done talked, everything needs to be done, it's completed. And I I work nine to five. When I get home, it, that's the program. They already know. So like I said, you have to develop a hustle be hustle goals for everything, hustling across the board. 
um, even on the job. Um, well, that's all for today. I appreciate you, you know, spending some time with me. Like, subscribe to my my station, and make sure that you um, send me a email or hit me up on G, uh, Gmail, queenforcreation dot com. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, I'm also Miss Queen Minded on Twitter and Instagram. And don't forget my blog on Word Post. You know, I post things there very regularly. And um, I love you guys. Take care. Bye.